There are many critical points in the steel making process where equipment failure means costly downtime. Now, one of these points is the hot strip mill. A fat slab of glowing 2000 degree steel is passed through several stages to first roll it thin, cool it off, heat it up, roll it again, cool it again, and finally roll it up into a coil, ready for the next step. Now, if any of that equipment breaks down, any stage can result in bad quality coils. Or, even worse, brings the whole line to a standstill at the cost of 50,000 euros an hour. Clearly, hot rolling mills need to avoid equipment failure. And the best way to do that is through predictive maintenance. Sensors collect data on how the machine is functioning, which then is analyzed to predict how long it will be before the machine breaks down. Now, the plant can then schedule maintenance on exactly the equipment that needs it during the next plant production stop. If you do condition monitoring right, you'll virtually eliminate unplanned downtime. So, how do you do condition monitoring right? There are three things to look for. It needs to be reliable, it needs to be robust, and it needs to be scalable. Let's look at reliable. System should catch all developing faults well in advance. That means two things. First, it needs to install permanent sensors to collect all data around the clock, instead of sending an engineer around every six weeks or so to take single measurements Second, it needs to harness the immense power of artificial intelligence to analyze the data as it comes in. No human being, however experienced, can process terabytes of data in real time. And what's more, machine learning systems always draw their conclusions based on fact, never on intuition and they're constantly refining their knowledge based on all this new data coming in. All this means they only grow more reliable over time. Second point, the system must be robust. Hot rolling mills are sweltering dirty places. Any system to measure equipment health is going to have to withstand the heat, water and the scale fragments. That rules out sensors that have to be placed directly on the asset. A successful hot strip mill condition monitoring system must therefore be able to collect its data from a distance. Third, the system needs to be scalable. Here again, automation is a must. There are hundreds of critical assets in a hot strip mill. You simply can't scale a condition monitoring system beyond a few dozen units if you're relying on human beings to collect data and human beings to analyze. So those are the three major points to look for in a condition monitoring system for hot strip mills. But condition monitoring can do more than just make your plan better. It can also make your plan safer and greener Let's look at safety. Industrial equipment failures are a significant risk for employee health, safety, especially when the product is 2000 degree steel. By identifying developing failures well in advance, condition monitoring helps you eliminate safety risks in the hot strip mill. Turning to greener. Condition monitoring system can use the data it's already collecting to calculate the efficiency of both your equipment and your processes, and thereby can help you waste less energy. Take load balancing in the runout table, for example. On the rollers we monitor, we've seen differences of 5% or more, which is significant. 
Insights like these can help hot strip mills slash energy waste, which is good for your bottom line and for the planet.